to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. Uh, if you're new to the channel, on this channel we try to use a fusion of different analysis techniques uh, to find the answers to important questions. In today's video we are going to discuss gold and uh, from my own personal research I'm well aware of it that we are in a bullish cycle as far as the long-term analysis of gold is concerned. That means mm, I'm expecting for gold to go bullish in next couple of years from uh, from 12 months to 24 months time time frame the important question is however where exactly are we going to, are we going to start going to start into the new trend and today we will uh, try to answer that question using a uh, combination of different techniques i will be revealing some of those analyses i've discussed some of them before already but if you have missed them then we can actually see them again and we'll see if we can combine elliot Darwis and WD GAN together. So first of all, uh, here is the basic, very basic labeling. Uh, I'm considering this whole price movement as wave one and two, wave three and wave four, and definitely, definitely you can, um, I mean, uh, say otherwise. And there is no, uh, there is no hard uh, feeling about that. If if that is the case, if you're not uh, considering this as one, two, three, and four, that's all right. Understandable. There's nothing to we can discuss. But the main point we can regret, we can discuss on one thing is that the trend from this point is going upward, and so far, so far we haven't seen any reversal in the trend. Uh, if you look at from this bottom, trend is still going upward because it's moving from left of the screen, bottom of the screen, to the high part of the screen, and we are right in the middle of it. Or we can actually move on this part, and we can say that okay, the trend in general is going up. This is one thing. Uh, so, till actually trend breaks or makes a U-turn, we will continue behaving that. We have one trend that's going on right over here. We have another trend that went on over here. So, the important point here is that are we going to continue this way? I don't think so. We are not going to look into this area analysis. Uh, I'm considering that this analysis that we have, we have trend that actually started from over here, it will carry on upward. This is the general theme of the analysis. We'll look at it. It actually changes. Now we have recently broken this particular trend line. Do not need to worry if we have broken this trend line. First of all, we can see that the prices came below over it. Right now, retesting it. So we'll discuss all of that. I'm well aware of it that we have broken this trend line. So let's delete that and let's delete this line and we'll discuss right now. So as far as Elliott wave analysis is concerned, you guys can uh, see that right now that uh, it looks to me that we are right now going to uh, wave 4. Either wave 4 is completed or not. That's another big question. Um, but I think that we are right now going through wave 4. We have completed wave A, wave B is complete and wave C either is complete or is going on. In that case, well, this is how we are looking at it at the present stage. Uh, we can definitely, definitely use trend line if you guys are analysis in uh, are interested in finding uh, that trend lines are pretty useful. We can definitely use trend line, and here is the trend line uh, that would be proper. That would be capturing the whole trend. This one, and this one, and if you see a correction, then this one too. All right. So here it goes. Now, if you look at uh, Elliott wave analysis, we can uh, definitely look at a three-wave structure, a three-wave structure, and a five-wave structure. The question is, is that we can clearly see five waves. We have wave one right over here, two, wave two, wave three, wave four, and wave five. This is right now we are zooming into. The main next question right now we can bring us, have we completed wave five? Or wave five is still going on? This wave five of wave C, have we completed that or is still going on? This is Elliott wave analysis. The next question is in terms of regular analysis is that if you look at the trend that actually started from over here, which was a double top right over here, we have seen low price in, uh, and then a lower, lower a lower high has been created. And then we saw a lower low right over here as compared to this one. And then we saw a lower high. And then we've seen lower low as compared to this one. So the downward trend is still pretty strong. As far as the general technical analysis is concerned, we have not seen any a signal. We have not broken a previous top, which is this one and this one and this one. So if you look at this particular trend, we have not broken previous top. We are definitely seeing some support area coming in, which is a double bottom right over here. And if you look further on the right left side, we definitely have an important area right over here. So we have seen prices jump up a bit. 
but once again the question means that have we completed this pattern right over here too simple answer is that you cannot believe that trend has changed till actually it changes so in that regard we are still bearish all right so we are still bearish as far as Elliott wave analysis is concerned we are still going on through wave 5 reason is one simple reason is that we have not seen a reversal strong enough we have not broken a previous trend but right now as per we uh, my, myself a retail trader so with the this is good uh, this is good as far as the investors are concerned uh, they are pretty they're t sitting pretty tight is bearish till it actually changes to bullish but that does not interest the retail traders of today mar today's market they are more interested either whether this wave is complete or not and even they want to zoom in even further so we'll try to answer that question uh, using a technique is called uh, Darwin's box theory uh, Darwin's box theory Darwin was used to uh, draw boxes and he, he would look at he would look at different boxes and see uh, boxes would have to be of the same width and then he would look at those boxes and see if they are broken important uh, resistance point if they have entered into the new box and that's okay then there comes WD GAN analysis WD GAN analysis is very famous for making uh, squaring the top and squaring the bottom it means that when a bottom has occurred or a, s a resistance point has reached then the future uh, support levels or future resistance levels would actually depend on that so here we can see that we have seen a resistance point right over here and over here so the any future lows would be actually dependent on this one mathematically this is uh, what it basically means that squaring the top or squaring the bottom that when an important support or resistance point has been met uh, and that regard the future price movements would actually uh, be relying on the this particular particular movement so how do we do that uh, so that we are chart okay this chart a little, a little messier all right first of all the first thing that we can see is that the top that was made was around 2070 so I'm trying to going to square that in order to square that I need to actually create uh, from a gap from 0 to 2070 on this chart in order to go to 0 I'll have to do further downward so instead of going to 0 and I'm going to uh, half of it I'm going to the half of the, the range from 0 to 2070 or from half of this range uh, in order to do that I need I can simply divide 2070 by 2 so 2070 divided by 2 that gives us 1035 so I'm going to draw a square a lower range of 1035 give me a moment So there it is on a weekly time frame we can actually see it right now it's right over here either i can i can also simply go to zero level and i can try to draw a box right over here with this is minus so i can simply draw a box right over here to it's again a similar thing let me uh, go to the the properties area we can go to the zero and there it is value is right now zero so it's right now zero if you measure the distance uh, this is 50 percent of the total range that you know and once again this is 50 percent as well so we are basically trying to measure mathematical percentage from zero to the top right over here to the most top recent top that we have seen which is 2071 i've rounded that off to 2070 okay so we can simply see that by by going in this okay and here we'll see that the total number of boxes is eight these small boxes is 8 but in order to zoom in and to see some finer levels I've decided to use the 50% of it it's either basically dividing the top range to the bottom range into 16 levels and if you if you're not contented with it you can further divide it into 32 levels uh, into 64 levels into 128 levels it's, it's up to you uh, whatever you want to feel it if the price is uh, giving us some uh, in indication if the, if the price gap is good enough that's what you kind of look at it for for gold I have simply divided the total range from 0 to 2070 into two sections all right so right now 
the 50 percent of the range is being divided by into eight separate boxes right one two three four five six seven eight so we'll go on the daily time frame and here we will see and see if he can some find somehow the problem with the, with the boxes is uh, Madaris boxes is that you have to find that then first of all they need to be all equal and this is we can see that we have seen the boxes all equal if we strictly look at the top to bottom uh, in that case the boxes are not equal if you try to do that in that case the boxes are not equal the important point here is that the resistance do not come at the end of the box right over here with this one we have seen that but that's not necessarily the case so what do we do the next point here is to find some sort of sequence so we can actually use that sequence so from the top to bottom I can see that these eight boxes uh, prices have clearly closed the eight boxes and next it went to how much boxes three small boxes one two three okay in the next box we went in there and then we have went into the resistance area let me delete, let me bring that in over here in that case we have went to one and two boxes in the next box so we can see that from the base box we have three boxes one up in the next box we went two boxes down further in the next box that should be zero uh, that should be one box right over here in that case one box but we have seen already reversal and if the prices have to move further down in that case we'll have to zero box okay so we in the from the base bo from the in the most important point of uh, data we have right over here uh, we completed the first box and then we jumped up three boxes then we completed the second box and then we jumped up two boxes and then we went up another box and it was to complete one more uh, price uh, resistance level over here and in the next one there was not supposed to be any um, any small box uh, in the next larger box okay so you guys make a sense is is, is basically developing up sequence three two one and zero okay now the important question is here is that when do we decide uh, as per the box theory when do we decide actually that we have completed the the price movement downward if we can actually cross this particular area which is 1814 which is the actually the uh, the previous box boundary and we have actually found the resistance right over here and if we can actually go beyond that that will be the indication that we have turned turned the trend all right the other thing is that we can say that the price has not completed a new uh, a target in that case we are well aware of uh, um, an idea that was actually introduced by w uh, by Elliot and it is truncation WD can also uh, published about that idea and he said there are some chances in which the price would not actually r reach the target would miss the target about by one by eighth and that's exactly what we are seeing right over here too though the price have missed the target by one by eight and right now I'm expecting that the price has yet not completed the target right over here too and when the prices come down our target for gold is going to be somewhere on this range in which is 1555 we look at it why is that important it's also a higher right over here too we look as the range itself we can see that this is the 25 percent of from zero of range of from zero to 2070 and this is the 50 percent of half of the range so this is also very important if you zoom out a little further we can see that from this bottom right over here to to the top right over here too the price comes down it will be at the 50 percent of this whole range as well so all of these things are making 1555 as a good point conditionally once again conditionally that the pattern has not completed over here okay so the thing in other in order to find that what condition has to be met and that is the Elliott wave have to complete their five way structure we have one two three four and five each of these wave is to be a five wave structure once again too 
right now I'm looking at it and I have a feeling I might be wrong I have a feeling that could this be wave A this be wave B and this be wave C we have a couple of more days to uh, see more price action if this is the case we are to see prices come down and then go up and come down and then go up so I'm right now still waiting as far as gold is concerned and as far as the price target is concerned if the price goes above 1815 that will be an indication that we have completed the bottom right over here and when we would go long this is one way because gold has been going on strongly we do not have to wait for the prices to create a new high beyond the previous high so this is an important point that we have discovered another point is that if we are considering it right if we are actually considering it this as wave A and wave B and wave C in that case wave C shall actually form a 5 wave structure in this particular case we shall actually see the formation of an ending diagonal so we shall give it a little more time to see if we actually see the completion of the ending diagonal or in other cases we actually can wait for the prices to go beyond 1815 either of that happening will give us an indication of which way the trend is going on right now the structure from this bottom is yet not complete or you can say structure from this bottom is yet not complete we we'll look have to wait for a bit more to answer to our very important question whether the trend actually started from over here is complete or not complete and if prices go beyond once again 1815 that will be indication that the trend actually started from over here is complete and from our Elliott wave knowledge we would be aware of it that the pattern that actually started from over here the correction pattern would be complete and we will be further uh, zooming out we'll be see that wave 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 is concerned complete and we will be going long further and we will be seeing a very healthy price action in gold as far as cycle analysis is concerned uh, that analysis is not being shared with you as per cycle analysis of precious metals they are still in the bullish cycles. the bullish the cycles are of long term and from from anywhere from six months nine months to 24 months time period sometimes they go up to five years right now the cycles are indicating that gold and silver and platinum are supposed to be in a bullish cycle I hope that this was able to provide some value uh, into what you're looking into gold and silver uh, as far as the other rest of the analysis is concerned the stock market analysis normally I share US indices UK indices uh, then you can wait for it it will be shared in hopefully by tomorrow wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye